We've got Mercury, Venus, Earth, what's next? Let's find out right now. Let's go. What's good, Lewis Angel right here with AE Mind Memory. I am your memory coach, remember that. So we're going to go right into how to memorize planets today. Now I know there's a lot of songs out there that you can learn, some acronyms on how to memorize the order of the planets. However, the way that I'm going to teach you is essentially the same way that all of the top mental athletes from around the world, how they memorize anything extremely quick. So I'm going to use the technique that we all use to apply them to memorizing planets. Let's go right into it. Browse through the planets real quick. First one is what? Mercury. Second one, Venus. Third, Earth. Uh, fourth is Mars, shout out to Mars. Uh, fifth is Jupiter. Six is Saturn. Seven is Uranus. Eight is Neptune. Ninth, yes, there was at one point a ninth planet. Now we only have eight. Uh, it got demoted. Pluto was demoted to a dwarf planet back in 06 by Neil deGrasse Tyson and other astrophysicists. However, I'm still going to give you the trigger word or the trigger picture uh, to be able to memorize and learn that there's another rock out there floating in space and it was once a ninth planet. All right, Pluto. The key to memorization is visualization. You see, I teach my students, I go around to different high schools and colleges and I tell them, if you want to memorize anything, if you want to memorize anything quickly, you have to turn that into an image, into a story. We're pretty much creative storytellers from this point forward. Now, how do we apply this to memorizing planets? Well, three quick uh, tips or techniques. Uh, first one is location. Second is visualize. Third is review. You need a location. You need to store the information somehow, some way, right? So I'm going to teach you how to create lo those locations. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, if you have, you already know this, then skip right through, you know, about two minutes in, you'll be able to see all the pictures that I already created for planets. Um, however, I'm just going to go through this real quick. Second step is visualize, turn, turn the planets into a picture, into a visual image, and then store them on the location. Third step is review. You have to review the information and you want to retain it and, and hold on to it long term. All right. So what's the first step? Location, second, visualize, third, review. Let's go ahead and go right into locations real quick. Uh, memorizing planets, you need some locations, right? So I want you to right now, if you don't have this yet, go ahead and get a sheet of paper, pen or pencil, and draw on there four boxes, four equal boxes. Label the first one room one, second one room two, third room three, fourth room four. So these are rooms inside of your home. So if you walk into your home, what's the first room that you see if that's a living room for you, like it is for me, then label that living room. Second one, what is that for you? Bathroom bedroom, whatever that is, right? So label them one through four. Then what I want you to do is choose five locations in each one of these rooms, right? So what's the first location? I'll give you a quick example of my uh, uh, home location. So when I walk into my living room, I see a window, right? I see a painting, I see a sofa, I see a mirror, and then I see a TV. Those are my first five locations. Then walk into all the other rooms again, and then choose five locations. So do that right now. Memorize these locations. They'll be pretty easy because it's your home. You, you walk in here all the time, right? So you know this already. It's already in your brain. Just essentially you're attaching a number to each one of these locations now, right? So choose those locations and pause this video so you can finish that and then return back uh, once you're done with that, all right? All right, you're back, you're done, awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and go right into memorizing these planets. I'll give you the image, and then all you have to do is store it on the location. All right, so Mercury, you gotta tell yourself, what does this remind me of? Mercury, when I hear that name, when I see that name, Mercury, what do I picture? For me, my picture is Mercury, like the element, right? Element Mercury, so you can find that like in thermometers. So maybe on your first location, like for me, it's a window. Uh, so maybe it's really hot. So I put a thermometer on there and it breaks. And now you have all this mercury just dripping down. All right. So I want you to picture that mercury on that first location. What is it for you? Maybe you're just pouring mercury all over your first location. All right. Don't actually do that for real. Very dangerous. Um, very toxic element. You do not want that anywhere near you. Um, however, for this, I, I, I guess, a visual image and and visual trigger to help you remember that the first planet is Mercury, we're going to use that in our brain, all right? So Mercury, picture that on the first location. I'll go ahead and go through these a little bit more uh, faster now, now that you kind of know how this works. Essentially, you take the picture, attach it a lot, add a lot of action, a lot of emotion, just make it super crazy, super vivid, all the senses, what do you see, what do you smell, uh, what do you hear, maybe you shatter it, right? What do you, the thermometer, it shatters, how, how does that hear, uh, what, how does that sound like? So I want you to add all the senses uh, to it, as many senses as you can, uh, and because that's gonna help you to be able to recall it uh, later on, all right? So second plan is what? Venus. For Venus, I picture like Venus, Venus Williams, the tennis player. You can also picture like the razor, right? Venus razor uh, for girls, for ladies, young ladies. So on your second location, whatever that is for you. For me, it's a painting. Uh, so maybe I might picture, you know, the painting. It's the painting of a girl uh, with, uh, with Venus 
I'm playing tennis back and forth, right? And making sounds like boom, bow, boom, bow, right? I don't know, making it weird, making it vivid. Add that to the second location, all right? Whatever your second location is, add Venus somehow. Maybe it's a razor or maybe it's a tennis player, right? Add that to your second location. Third, Earth, Mother Earth, right here. We're on this rock, floating around in space, right? Uh, going around the sun, around all these other planets, and the solar system, around other solar systems in this galaxy. I keep going on. But <laughs> we're here on our third planet. For that, just picture like a globe. Picture a globe, you know, for Earth and attach that to your third location. What is that for you? For me, it's a sofa, a couch, right? So maybe I'll picture like a, so, uh, a, a big globe. It has arms, legs, and it's just chilling there, just hanging out, right? Maybe it just starts rolling around my couch, flattening it because it's so big and so heavy, right? So picture whatever your third location is, picture a globe on that location, all right? So picture very vividly. Fourth, planet is Mars. Uh, my picture for Mars is Martian. So picture Martian on your fourth location, Martian fourth location. Uh, what is that for you? Maybe, you know, picture an alien out there, maybe just zapping your fourth location. So what is that for you? Picture very vividly. Close your eyes maybe and imagine it um, doing all kinds of weirdness. So do that right now. Fifth location is Jupiter. For Jupiter, I picture like jumping on tar, jumping tar, Jupiter, jumping on tar. So maybe there's a trampoline on the fifth location and the trampoline, instead of it being like uh, made out of the bouncy material, it's made out of tar, okay? It's made out of tar. So as you bounce on it, you come up and you notice a bunch of tar just coming down from your, from your feet, your legs, and it's dripping all over that fifth location. Make it very vivid. Um, again, add all the senses that you can to this. What does it smell like? What does it taste like? All, you know, all the senses that you can as you're doing this. You're jumping up and down on this trampoline. It's full of tar, okay? Jumping tar on the fifth location. Close your eyes, visualize. Now go ahead and visualize the first five locations. Okay, what was the first one? Picture it right now. What was the second one? Okay, third. What did we put on the third location? Remember, the globe, all right, fourth, what was the fourth one? We have Mars, right, Mars Shin. And then fifth, right now, fifth location, we have Jumping on Tar. Gonna go ahead and go a little faster now, uh, sixth one, Saturn, so picture your sixth, sixth location. What is that for you, six is Saturn, so just picture rings, right, rings, maybe it's, uh, I don't know, maybe hula hoop rings, or whatever you picture when you think of rings, attach that to your sixth location. That's gonna re remind you that that is like Saturn, you know, the rings of Saturn. So Saturn rings on your sixth location, going round and round and round and round, right? Seventh is Uranus. Uh, for me, we'll keep it uh, G-rated here. <laughs> uh, whatever you might picture for Uranus, uh, go ahead and attach that to seventh location, but I'll give you uh, the picture that I created for it. So you're asparagus, so you have a bunch of asparagus. So you're asparagus, you're a nis, you're asparagus, right? Uh, kind of rhymes, you're, uh, you're asparagus, you're a nis. So attach that to your seventh location. So maybe it's just growing a bunch of asparagus and you cut some of them out and you start eating them, right? So asparagus on your seventh location. What is that location for you? Picture that very vividly on your seventh location. All right, so moving on now, eighth planet. Almost done. Neptune. What do you picture for Neptune? Neptune, for me, I'll give you my example again. It, now, if you think of something completely different, go ahead and use that. I encourage, encourage you to use your own pictures, your own images for these planets because that's going to help you uh, to remember it much quicker than if you know you use mine. However, if you can't think of one, use mine, all right? So Neptune, Neptune. Have you ever seen those pillows, uh, you know, you take on the, in, on the airplane? Uh, to rest, to go to sleep on, right? I mean, it's nice and comfortable on your neck. So picture the nap, you know, picture that, that pillow with headphones attached to it. So nap, tune, you're taking a nap, right? And you're listening to some tunes, some head, you know, there's headphones, you're listening to some music. So nap, tune, picture that on your eighth location. So maybe it's just dancing around or maybe you're just laying down with that pillow with headphones on your eighth location and it's a very loud uh, song you can't go to sleep right so nap tune so picture make, make it very vivid add all the senses make it come to life all right so eighth location nap tune nap tune all right ninth one pluto for uh, copyright purposes i'm not going to use the actual dog from uh, the cartoons <laughs> uh, however i'll just you know pluto the dog so just picture pluto the dog pluto uh, representation for the ninth planet which is now a dwarf planet um so planet pluto uh picture the dog on your ninth location all right 
So picture that doing something weird. Maybe he's just rolling around on that ninth location. Maybe he's just tearing up that ninth location, whatever that location is for you. Uh, maybe he's just tearing it uh, you know, apart, all right? So picture that Pluto on your ninth location. Quick review. First one, I want you to walk to your first location. What did we attach there? What was the first, lo first location? Now, what did we picture on that location? Right? We picture Mercury, right? So picture Mercury on that first location. If these images aren't coming as quick as you might want them to, essentially it's one of two reasons. One, you just didn't uh, really attach this picture to that location. Two, maybe you did, but the action isn't strong enough, right? So make the action strong. Add as many senses as you possibly can. The stronger it is, the easier it is for you to recall this picture, all right? So uh, second planet, what's the second planet? Picture that. Walk to that second location. What is that for you? What did we put on that location? What did we visualize on that location? Right? Venus, right? Playing with that location, whatever that was for you. Third, should be easy. Third is Earth. Even rhyme, right? Kind of. <laughs> third, Earth uh, does. Uh, third, Earth, and we pictured a globe on that location. All right, fourth, my favorite. What comes right after Earth? Mars, all right? Picture a Martian on that location. We got a lot of commercial interest right now in sending uh, individuals out there to Mars to go out and, and build a colony out there. And it's gonna be pretty interesting over the next you know, 10, 20, 30 years. And as we progress on with either the Mars One mission or even Elon Musk's space, SpaceX exploration as he, you know, right now he's sending rockets up to the International Space Station, but pretty soon he's going to be sending people out to Mars. So that's going to be very interesting. All right, anyway, uh, go back to this fifth planet. What's the fifth planet? So walk over to your fifth location and ask yourself, what did I picture here? See it. Then translate that back into the planet, right? Jupiter jumping on Tar. Six one, six location. What did we picture here? That's right, the rings, right? Going round and round, Saturn. Seventh one, what is that? That's right, it is oh, Uranus. <laughs> You're asparagus, all right? So I want you to picture that on the seventh location, make it very vivid, add a lot of action to it. If you can't see very clearly right now, add more action to it, and you'll be able to remember that, like that, all right? So eighth planet, what is the eighth planet? Neptune, Neptune, right? Neptune, Neptune. And the ninth one, now it's a dwarf planet. It's not considered an actual planet anymore, although it is still out there. It is Pluto, all right? Pluto, picture the dog on the ninth location. Pretty much it, thank you so much for watching. Click on the button over to the left to see the next video, next memory video. If you wanna download these slides, you can kind of go through them on your own. Go ahead and click on the download link right there and you'll be able to download the PDF file uh, to these uh, files that I just went through, okay? And amymemory.com is a website where you wanna go to to get all the latest information in regards to improving your memory so you can memorize information like that on Snap, all right? So you can get better grades in school, so you can get into the college of your dreams or if you're already in college, so you can ace all your exams, all right? So that's it for right now, I'm done. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out, Louis Angel signing off with the AE Mind, Accelerated Empowered Mind. I'm out.